Hello guys, <clears throat> welcome back, I'm Julian, I'm here to do my reaction video for season 5, episode 6 of Lucifer, this time the title of the episode is Blue Balls, and yes, we are back, we're ready for a new episode of Lucifer, uh, the previous episode we had a lot of, like, we had a really cute moment between Lucifer and, and Chloe at the end, and it was, it was, it was so beautiful, I, I think it was the episode we were all waiting for, you know, because this couple has taken their sweet ass to get to the point that they are right now to finally accept their feelings for one another and just to be, you know, so I'm really excited for what is to come ahead, what other troubles they might have, you know, because I'm not gonna get, I'm not, I'm going to guess it's not going to be an easy road just, just yet, you know, so... We'll see what happens on this episode, and yeah, I hope you guys enjoy, I hope you guys like it, and I hope you guys continue supporting for more. So, please don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you love Lucifer, subscribe, comment, hit the notification bell, and you can go right now to Patreon and watch the full uncut extended version for this reaction and so much more. So in case you guys want to do that, link as always will be in the description down below. So I hope you guys enjoy, hope you guys like it, and without further Ado, let's just begin with season five, episode six of Lucifer. Here we go. Uh, okay, okay, yes. Is that Lucifer and Chloe? I can't see. No, they're not. Did you hear something? Of course so they're not. <gasps> I'm pretty sure that's not the guy's name. <laughs> I thought it was Lucifer. I I, I don't like being baited. <laughs> I thought it was Lucifer and Chloe. They did this on purpose. <laughs> oh, okay. In a bone all night? <laughs> Come back to the show, you sex fiends. <laughs> I don't think that's smart. But nobody notices. Nobody notices because it's part of the show. Everybody, yay, yay. And he's actually dead. <laughs> Have you two bone? First time they walk in as a couple, bitch. Whoa, oh, it's such a new Wait. Yeah. Did you guys come together? Yes, they no. did. Totally unrelated. Um, can I talk to you for a second? Oh, yeah. Yeah, sure. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, okay. I just don't want my sex life discussed in the workplace. Okay, oh. so. Hmm? Well, weren't you married to Dan, and he was also a cop? You know. There we go. Okay, Ella. So what do we have? Mm. Blue balls. You too. <laughs> Blue balls with a Z. All DJs are sick, if you ask me. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway. She's laughing at his jokes. Like, they could not scream couple a little more loud. I love this. Well, we're Let's just question the witnesses in case closed. Then we can all go back to our... <laughs> well, um, we do have about 500 potential witnesses oh. that are all drunk and most likely very high. So, we're gonna be here a while. So, you don't want to go back? You, like, you don't want to go back? Like, Chloe, I will be like, can someone else handle th this case? I mean, this guy's gonna be dead tomorrow as well, so... I'll be like boning him in a second. <laughs> you missed our coffee date. Oh my gosh, Miss. Is it morning? I mean, that's not so sorry. So, yeah. We've been up all night. You're welcome to stay, but it's kind of loud. Pain and suffering. <laughs> Music to my ears. Okay. Mm. I'm sorry, Maze. What's the question? How do I not end up alone? That is not an easy question to answer. Find connections. Try swaddling him. Oh, what a wonderful idea. Maybe it's because you both are stressed. You just have to find someone 
to connect with. Exactly I what I said. I just scare everybody away. Well, I'm still here, right? Yeah. So you just know that when you find someone that you're romantically interested in, you just try not to be so scary. You know, be more open, emotionally available. Emotionally available. <laughs> mm -hmm. How yeah, do you okay, achieve so that, though? <laughs> I have that same question, mate, so I don't know. Huh. Hmm. Yeah, indeed. She's so pretty. How how is she? Like this show has like every single one on this show is crazy hot. Like it's unreal, man. Hi, Ella. I'm Pete. Okay. Um, uh, you, you know, like um, maybe as like a real thank you, I could take you out for a okay, drink. Okay, he's not wasting his time. Or... He seems like a good I'm guy. I'm not really dating right now and she likes the bad boys cool all right okay. yeah I, I mean i didn't know he was headlining the show it must have been oh. a surprise appearance that's so cool yes i must admit he may be the one dj has even a modicum of talent but then again his ludicrous name negates that <laughs> i mean carnal really must everything be about sex chloe oh hey Jim. come on it's been like Hi. you know him oh uh, is someone about to get jelly <laughs> So good to see you. <laughs> fun, aren't they? So, what are you doing here? Oh, well, this is a show. I'm a DJ. Right. What are you doing here? Well, how do you guys know each other? Thing. Also, also, she knew her way around. Like, oh, this is like this kind of stuff, and like the best in the business. So, how did she? Was she a DJ, <laughs> or she dated one? I don't know. Oh, huh. Are you in a relationship? Oh, um, you can say it. so. Um, Chloe. No, you're not in a, a relationship uh, per se. The well, hell? Really good seeing you again. Okay, okay, I understand that this is very new, but like, literally, you found out he's the devil, then you went through that whole process. And then you just realize you guys are meant to be together. And yet when someone asks you, are you in a relationship? You say, uh, mm, probably not. Seriously? Okay. But this is drama. Okay, 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 okay. Cool, 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 cool. I'm going to be cool. Me too. Okay, it's like, Need you over here. no other couple screams endgame more than them. Okay. Listen, I have dated guys at work before. But, you know, people talk and I don't want that and this us you know we, we don't even know what this is yet oh do we i do i suppose not sorry how is my manager oh. what is this guy's name can he get out they were having like a really beautiful intimate moment they broke up right before i met chloe but I always kind of felt like I was living in his shadow, you know? I don't know if it's the whole first love thing or what. But I swear there's a part of Chloe that will never get over his stupid chiseled face. Oh, yeah, I don't Sorry, think man. so. Well, there's no need to apologize. The detective had a child with you, and I've never felt in the slightest bit threatened. <laughs> you're right. He does have a stupid face. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I don't right, know. Lucifer and I will go question Blanco. And, well, you just stay here at the precinct where it's safe. Thanks, Jerry Jane. Don't call her that. What would I do without you? <sighs> Die, probably. Okay, okay, Chloe, stop it. <clears throat> I mean, maybe he was important to her past tense. Look, no one strays it up like that. We know she's not, she's not, but like, I don't think that this is what Linda meant when she was like being, you know open to new connections <laughs> i don't think this is what she meant how do you do that ellen <laughs> how are you so friendly uh, well, i guess i'm just me you know ella uh -huh. mm -hmm. but uh gotta run to the lab ellen is really fun <laughs> i was just trying to figure out how to be more emotionally available you know <laughs> So, Jed was your first love then? Oh, I see you've been talking to Dan. Yeah. Well, I mean, we were just kids, and it was great for a moment, but it's in the past. I'm over him, and 
He's over me. Yeah, I don't think so. Yes, he's completely over you. Cherry oh, Jane Foundation. On, <laughs> Cherry Jane is... Look, I'm all for helping the homeless, but I bring my kids here. The last thing this community needs is drug addicts and mental cases roaming around. Yes. Yeah. Yes, there you were, minding your own business when some musical interloper comes into your life under false pretenses, <laughs> getting his grubby little DJ hands all over it. Exactly. Yeah. And all these people feel the same way. Yeah. Really? Just last weekend, I caught a homeless woman breaking into his place. Chased her out of that gate. Okay. okay, so Jed said the last time he saw his headphones was last weekend. Well, why would a homeless woman want to kill Jed? Maybe she wasn't homeless. Maybe she broke in to tamper with the headphones. She could be the one who wanted to murder Jed. Assuming anyone wanted to murder Jed. I, I think that's pretty much clear. There's a target on his back. You okay? Aww. It's convenient for Jed. <laughs> Isn't it? This <laughs> place blowing up. How? Well, first someone tries to electrocute him on stage, yet accidentally kills someone else. Now someone tries to blow him up, yet fails again. Either Jed is the luckiest target alive, or he's behind all this. Jed would be uh. here right now if we hadn't kept him at the precinct. Over and tuck. Oh, right? yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but looks right to me. Every time his arms just keep popping out everywhere. <laughs> he's trying to you teach know, him how to throw him. Was, because into he has a some burrito. Sort of super strength, but and I kind of already do that enough on my own. What are you talking about? You're a great guy. Shush. Hey. Yes, I like great them supporting each other. Great dad. And your hair, it's so hot. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, man. One more step and you'll die. Detective, she oh, careful. Camouflage? I know how to handle snakes. Uh, oh. No! Do you what? know how long I have been waiting for copulation? Well, you know. <laughs> yeah, Clearly same. you're not aware of how rare sound recordings of rattlesnake sex are. Well, it's not my strong suit, no. <laughs> Listen to me, Miss Snake Pervert. <laughs> What did you desire from Jed? I want him to pay. Pay you for helping him fake his murder attempts. Wait. What? Murder? No. He owes me for sampling my sound recording. Oh, that's why they I say he looks like a homeless woman. Devices. I was trying to record proof that Carnal stole my tracks. Well, that is where we'll find proof that Jed is behind all of this. Or of who the real killer is. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, you still have to be safe. You could stay. Cher, are you inviting me to stay? My place. Yes, yes, that's exactly <laughs> what she's suggesting. Excellent idea, detective. <laughs> so you're reading my mind. Oh. <laughs> Great. Great. Off you go. Shall we? <laughs> sure. <laughs> my memory didn't even do her justice. All those feelings came flooding back, and I started to wonder. Maybe this is fate. No, yeah, no, not Don't for you. you. think I would kill Pex and blow up my own studio just to get her back? I mean, dude, you were even crazier about her than I ever was. She dumped, she dumped you. you. <laughs> yeah, everything was fine, and then all of a sudden she just called it off. So she just changed how she felt about you without, without any warning? Yeah. Okay. Anything on your end? Listen to this, so... Carnal girl, 506. I left my whole world behind for you, Jed, and now so will you. I missed you at the show. I missed you at your studio. But you won't get away next time. Okay. Oh, sounds ominous. Yeah. yeah. That really sounds does. like motive and opportunity. I mean, this carnal girl, 506, could be our killer. Definitely female. Ella. Yeah, well, it <clears throat> got postponed. Oh. You're nervous that you won't measure up in bed. I mean, <laughs> he is pretty experienced. I mean, if I had to put it like thousands, probably. But you know what? You got this. You totally got this. You're sexy. That actually hadn't crossed my mind. Oh, oh. you're waiting on an STD check. Super smart. No, no. I need to. <laughs> Listen, Ella, he canceled. I guess he'd rather spend time with my ex than hang out with me, okay? Yeah, that's worse. Like, yeah. wait. I mean. But I always wanted to be with her. Possibly relatable. <laughs> Continue. In hindsight, 
That's when the relationship was at its best. Better without sex. Oh, not relatable. Seriously, <laughs> all that unresolved sexual tension, the will they, won't they, kept her hooked. Then we became a couple and just lost interest. Well, maybe you're oh, boring, you know? Lacking in the bedroom department, I see. Well, <laughs> that won't be a problem. And my mistake was wearing my heart on my sleeve. Too much of an open book. Really? Because I've been in therapy, so I'm, you know, a bit of an expert. But <laughs> yeah. I believe that talking about one's emotions is good. Also, no? she has evolved, no, she has grown. Chloe looks at everything like a, like a case that needs to be solved. So she moved on to the next mystery. And, you know, I don't blame her. Should have played it closer to the best, but I, I'm just so naive, you know? <sighs> you know what? I don't believe this self petty. Um. How's that for mystery? No, hey, don't uh, listen to listen, her. I'm just to make him. Sure everything's okay, and um, I, I need to talk to Jed about any crazy fans that he knows of. So, just please call me when you get this. Oh. <laughs> what oh, are yeah, you I doing? The exact same shirt. Yes, you did. <laughs> Wait, did you? Did you steal my clothes? I think she oh. did. <laughs> I'm confused. I am confused as well. <laughs> I understand how you feel. Ella. Oh, oh you're going to right. That's cute. What? Why are you going to ask? Oh, ask away. I am completely open and emotionally available now. <laughs> Just like my good friend, Ella. <laughs> oh. Oh. Right, so you're acting like Ella. And you know what? Never mind. Real Ella, what do we have? Uh <laughs> I love this. I love that she thinks this is the way to get to emotionally open. Whatever. That beeping sound. What's up? What's the emergency? Is Charlie all right? Charlie's fine. Charlie's the same. Oh, I'm the problem. She just handed me the baby and left. Well, what'd you do? I just said what you said. That it's okay that she gets it wrong all the time and that it's perfectly natural that she's so clueless because no one ever... Oh. Now you oh, see it. Okay. Right. I... I see what happened. Yeah. There's yeah. mm -hmm. smart men. <laughs> Where'd Linda go again? I love this. I have missed the girls together, though. <laughs> uh, oh, Linda, I'm not quite sure why Maze called you, but like I told you, <laughs> this is a sting. Oh, I thought you said vodka. I am vodka. <laughs> yeah. Girls' night, lady love. Yeah. Yay! Oh, wait, wait, okay. What are you doing here? Shouldn't you be involved with the sting over at Lux? I don't know anything about a sting. I'm here because I'm being mysterious. Well, well the last place the detective would expect to find me is with a baby, so here I am. Yeah, that still doesn't answer my question, but if you're gonna stay... You're gonna have a turn. You have any ideas how to stop this? Uh, have you tried whiskey? No, no, no. Planet Boy Alert. Oh, no, Ella. Focus, focus, focus. Mission. Oh, hearing aids, hearing aids, yeah. <laughs> oh, <laughs> love your loaves. <laughs> <laughs> oh, poor baby. You're doing it too fast. You're still doing it too fast. Maybe it's because you all are stressed out? This is how I did it when I had a baby. You know. With Chloe. With Chloe. Yeah, 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 yeah. So what's the sting you were talking about? Chloe's putting on a show over at Lux to draw out the killer. With you as the headliner. Wait, then shouldn't I be there? It's too dangerous. <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, damn. What? <laughs> oh, I, I finished my sections. No hearing aids. So you thought you'd find one in that guy's mouth? <laughs> but maybe you're right. Ella? Ella, yes. If all you think you deserve is some loser like that, Maybe I should learn from someone else. Oh, okay. It has some other meaning there, right? Because you don't deserve a loser like that. Who calls you a bitch, by the way? I did not... I did saw that. Okay, so you've had sex with Lucifer. <clears throat> oh. Okay, um... Yes? <laughs> that was a long time ago. Right, well, I, I mean... I know he slept with a lot of women. Tons. Yeah, yeah, don't freak her. Yes, and men. Right, which I, I, I completely accept. But, you know, I mean, sleeping with the devil, it must be different somehow, right? Yeah, well, it's not like he has a forked penis or anything. <laughs> it I mean, it's totally normal. I mean, well, I'm way, way above average. I mean, it's perfect. 
Seriously, sex with Lucifer is the last thing you should be worried about. The detective. <laughs> Lucifer, stop this nonsense! Dude, dude, did you just throw your phone at the window? <laughs> She's such a weirdo. That yeah, sucks. Uh, yeah, Lucifer, he's, uh, I, I don't know. I don't know where Lucifer is right now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, I'm positive Jed's safe. <laughs> okay, bye. The, the hell, man? Well, you see, Daniel, the detective is a detective. So, I'm being a mystery. Well, that's the stupidest thing I've ever heard. Yeah. Jed explains sure. it much better, don't you, Jed? Where's Jed? Did you guys... M okay, maybe he was right after all. It's like you just got played, son. <laughs> what are you talking about? Jed's after Chloe. I told you to watch out for him. I mean, come on. It's, it's obvious that he's trying to get between you two so yeah. he can sneak right in. He's putting ideas Jeez. in your head. I've been manipulated, brother. Oh, that shit. that mewling little DJ. Okay, calm down, Lucy. It's bad enough when father does it, but that little... <laughs> cretin. They could be right outside. Good. Jed can see who he's really playing with. Oh. Oh, damn. You're gonna scare Charlie, though. <laughs> That's that odd. Yeah. Change your back. Do it again, Lucy. Do it again. Yeah. Yeah. Do it again. <laughs> <laughs> Well, Chad, is Chad may have manipulated you, brother, but you let him. True. You're right, I suppose. Also, Aww. I need you to help me to get Charlie to stop. <laughs> <laughs> it's just ringing. <clears throat> that to a special lady, Jerry Jane. This one's for you. Oh, for oh, fuck's sake! So he was trying to do this uh, the entire he time? supposed to be here! I know. But uh, Chloe said that the killer's not here, right? So, so he should be safe. Wait, does she have a gun? Oh my god, she's going! Ouch! Ow. Miss, what the heck? I just wanted to take a selfie! Are you calling oh. girl 506? Yeah? Oh! What's that? Ryan, what are you doing? <gasps> the hell? LAPD put down the gun. No! They need to know. He's a homewrecker. It was just one night. One magical night? Okay, Mimi, you're married. not helping. say anything. You don't need to do this, Ron. Yes, I do. She broke my heart. Dude. I messed up with the other DJ. And then with the explosion. I'm not gonna screw up this time. Listen. You let your friends get into your head. You should have just talked to her. I, I get it. it. I've been there, but you, you have to tell her how you feel. That sometimes she drives you crazy. That she can be incredibly challenging. And, and headstrong and frustrating. Yeah, I don't think but she's talking about Karen right now. Also, incredible. Oh, Chloe. And that, despite everything, you, you just want to be with him. I mean, her, 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 her. her, her. <laughs> Ron, Ron. Ron. You're not going to be able to tell her anything if I have to shoot you. So put down the gun. Put it down. Put it down, man. Put it down. I mean, you're already going to jail, so. Please. <laughs> Ouch. Where's Linda? Oh. Oh. <laughs> I fucking love Linda. <laughs> That's me, totally me. A few drinks and then I'm like, out. Well, 
It didn't sound very complicated when you were talking back there. I believe the word you used was incredible. Incredible, yeah. Okay, so this guy was at the end of the day a good guy. Do you want to go out with me? I really? think so, yeah. yeah. Thank you. Yeah, uh, I mean, Thank great. You. Yes, <laughs> yes. That would be great. Okay, just... That would be <laughs> cool. <laughs> <clears throat> Look at that, breaking news. Local journalist gets cute girl's phone number. Oh, oh. Geez, for Pete's sake. Uh, <laughs> see what I did there? I yes. see what you did there. I do. <laughs> I've never known you to be the jealous type. Please, I'm not jealous. Oh, yes, you are. <laughs> just, 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 this whole relationship nonsense. How am I supposed to know what she's thinking? It's man's eternal question, bro. Well, we haven't even had a proper chance yet. I can't mess this up. Oh, I know sweetie. you two are useless when it comes to <laughs> women, but Daniel, you surely should have some sort of self-help mumbo-jumbo advice for me. You want my advice? Sadly, yes. <laughs> Stop asking people for their advice and just go talk to her, man. Uh, uh, we, we, we can take it from here, Dan. Oh. Are you sure? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you've already helped out so much. I'm out of here. I'm exhausted, guys. <laughs> hey, man, what's up? Oh, Daniel, is it too late for you to come back? I'm so sorry. You forgot something. Uh, all right, man. I'll be right there. Fantastic. Idiot. Wait. <gasps> Who called? Oh no! Well done, brother. Well done. Oh god! So Michael called, right? Who called? Oh my god! I will freak out. I will freak out as well. Be, be careful, though. You little shit. We're incredible. You guys are incredible. I agree more. Yeah. Who are they gonna bang? Finally. No, they are not. Well, oh my um, god. Well, um. No, they are. I'll see you tomorrow then. The music Absolutely. is throwing yes, me tomorrow. throwing me off. <clears throat> really? You dressed up Good for night, this? Good night. Oh, I thought you were wearing a dress. Either way. Can you guys stop with this bullsh Okay, thank thank you. Thank you. I was waiting for this. It's just like, oh, for the love of God. What is it? Dan? Oh, thank God. Thank God she didn't answer. Mm. Fuck you, finally, guys. Okay, guys, so that was the end of season five, episode six of Lucifer. And it was a really, 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 really sweet episode. Um, I kind of did like seeing uh, Lucifer jealous. It's not the first time we actually see Lucifer a bit jealous of anyone around Chloe and honestly I can't really you know blame him um, because this guy I mean I did not find him attractive I mean he was yeah attractive in the 
in the in your face kind of attractive but like you know they have gone through so much than an ex you know that it was her first love or something like that and and like we're supposed to believe that what the Chloe is going to have second thoughts and like or is thinking of him as just a mystery to solve and once she has solved it like it's going to go away no but i understand why lucifer was affected by it why he was because he is very emotional about i mean he's very emotionally vulnerable when it comes to chloe you know it's easy that's his um Achilles heel is that how you say it in English I think it, it is you know that's something that he is afraid of something he's insecure about you know any other man or woman you know he will be like no I, I got it but not with Chloe you know he doesn't believe that he got has it you know has her you know and like that the kids that they had that seals it off and like you know, they are going to be together for... Like, he still has that, that that fear that it could go away, you know? So, of course, he gets jealous. And, of course, he gets nervous. And that guy gets into his head because he is very concerned that that's, that he might, you know, blow it with, with, with Chloe. So, it's understandable that he gets himself being manipulated by, by Jed, you know? Um... And also you have the fact that even though he's very narcissistic, that's pretty much his personality, you you understand that um, he is very insecure about himself, you know? Uh, especially when it comes to that deep connections, you know, he's insecure about that. So, yeah, Jed got into his head. I did not like Jed at all. I found him annoying. Probably because he was getting in the middle of, of Deca's star, you know, and like I've been waiting for this for quite a while, you know, so um, I was not really happy about getting an interruption. I would have loved, though, if this episode just opens with them the morning after or maybe the same night and we continue through that and like we can enjoy that. But I guess that we needed the... Um, we needed that moment, you know, for for him to be doubtful of his relationship with Chloe. I kind of get it, you know. Um, and for Chloe as well to be a little bit like, you know, how is it going to be? You know, the expectations are very high. Um, but I, you know, one of the things that I love the most about Chloe is that she's never like physically jealous of any other woman or men you know she knows that he has led with a lot of people but there's never like that jealousy of like you have slept with people before and like you know you have so such a, so much experience it's never like that not even with linda who she knows that he has slept with as well you know there's no jealousy there so i kind of like that about chloe uh, but she was, you know, concerned about, you know, whether if she... I think that she was just, you know, just worried about what it meant, you know. And, and I think it was okay for them to be kind of, like, you know, a little bit hesitant about it, you know. Um, but ultimately, you know, they cannot deny their feelings for each other anymore. I mean, they have been trying to do this for the better part of five seasons so, and it hasn't worked out for them. So it, it finally, that like, the payoff is just, you know, to me, that, that, that scene is so much more than just, yes, did I want to see his ass again? Yes, I kind of did. Like, can you blame me? But at the end of the day, it's more so about the connection that they have, the, the, the love that they have for each other and about how just, how well they just fit with one another, you know? So it was a very sweet scene. I love when he, you know, like, like the way he touches her and her face and like really sees her and like, it was just so beautiful, you know? 
and then him holding her hand to guide her to the bed. It was very romantic and it was sexy at the same time, but it was sweet, you know? Most most of it, most of it, it was just sweet, you know? So, I really like that. I was not expecting at all that on this episode we were going to see, well, that Dan was going to find out that Lucifer is actually <laughs> the devil, you know? And of course, Michael had to come back because of course that storyline is not over, you know? So he had to come back and he had to mess things up and he sees Lucifer right there on, the, you know, in there. And I am going to guess he believes now that he is truly the devil. And if if Amanadil is okay with him holding his baby, like, I don't think he thought, oh, baby Charlie needs my help. So he freaked out and he just left. And like I said, honestly, I, I, how can you blame him? Right? You see a demon, you see a, the devil, you're gonna go, run the opposite direction. Like, that is a natural way of doing things. And I'm pretty sure that that was Dan calling Chloe to tell her, dude, don't sleep with him. He's the devil. And Chloe was going to be like, I know. <laughs> so kind of crazy that he finds out. I wasn't expecting that at all, you know, but now he knows. How's, how's he going to handle this information? Will he just out him? Will he just like, what is he going to do? How is he going to be okay with this? Like, it's going to be like incredibly difficult, I'm going to guess. For him, you know, if, if it was for Chloe and for Linda and every human that has found out about the supernatural and celestial world, it's going to be difficult for, for him. And maybe he is the one person who just won't accept it, you know, and would not want to be around these people, you know? Who knows, man? Um, anyways, so... Oh, we had Mace trying to be a little bit more like um, like Ella. Because out of all the people that she she observed, I'm going to guess, Ella seemed like the one who is the most emotionally available. So, and she gives hugs and she's really nice. So she thought, okay, I'm going to dress the part. <laughs> you got to love uh, Mace for trying that, you know. And she was kind of like... You know, really into talking to people and like, you know, especially with this Karen girl. And she was like, but she was getting annoying, you know. But like the thing is with her, yes, I know that 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 Ella, without knowing, said, you will find your soulmate, you know. And, and, and of course, Mace took it as like, I have no soul. How am I going to fight a soulmate, you know. So it's difficult, but I think that. It could be a different way in looking at this in the sense of like, you are who you are, you know, she has this, this, I don't know if you can call it soul for her since she's a demon, but she has something to give to other people, you know, and she has love within herself and that can be very much her soul, maybe not the one that leaves to heaven and has a afterlife after she's dead. Um, well, who gives a damn about that after you're dead, right? So, I, in my opinion, I think she took it in the wrong way. And I do think that she will find uh, that perfect person for her, you know? Um, maybe Eve... Because Eve left and they were kind of like hitting off. But Eve needed to find herself, you know. But there was something going on between them and I kind of kind of liked it. But like, it's been six episodes and she's not back. So, I don't know if she, e if she will ever be back. I don't know. Anyway, so, um, yeah. But I do think that she will find someone, you know, Mace. And honestly, the way she sits, the way she walks, the way she talks is so goddamn sexy. Well, which is, has nothing to do with her finding someone else, you know, which, you know, you if she really wants someone is not someone who just, just is attracted to her because she's incredibly hot. It's more than that. Um, but yeah, 
she's hot. What can I say? <laughs> anyway, so Ella, and you know, we know Ella has a thing for bad boys. You know, she has a thing for for guys who are not right for her. But in this episode, thanks to Maze, she kind of realized that maybe she deserves something more. She doesn't deserve to just hang out with losers, you know? So she gives this Pete guy who comes out of nowhere a chance. And I think it's a good thing, you know? Because, you know, my, we might see him uh, and Ella in a different light, right? But there was this thing that happened with Ella and Dan that it never got any further than that. Uh, but I was not holding hope for them to come back together. So I don't know. I'm okay with, with, with Pete, I guess. I have no idea. Anyways, this was a good episode. Really liked it. And, you know, the stakes are getting higher right now with who finds out who Lucifer truly is. Um, so we'll see how it goes. Also, the fact that Michael was able to, of course, copy Lucifer's voice, that was really easy, you know? But could he, could have him being the one who changed his voice in some sort of way and talk to Manadiel to get out of hell, to leave hell unattended? Because that seems, that's, that seemed fishy for me since the get-go, so we'll see. We'll see how that, t that turns out. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoy. I hope you guys liked it. Give it a lot of thumbs up if you love um, Lucifer. If you love the ending, you know, with Lucifer and Chloe finally getting together and finally getting, you know, getting to bang. <laughs> uh, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, comment, hit the notification bell, and you can go to Patreon right now and watch the full uncut extended version for this reaction and so much more. So in case you guys want to do that, link on the description down below. Uh, thank you so much, guys, for watching and for all your support. And that's about it. I'll see you guys next time for my next reaction for Lucifer. That's it. Mwah. Bye, guys.